tonight we had your premiere Sarah Martin hello <laughs> and now with the next movie you were the director yep director writer uh, producer you name it cameraman woman <laughs> so and well, I was the editor as well so it was a lot of work yeah uh, a lot of love a lot of um, the actors were wonderful yeah they were great yeah. we had 58 actors total which is the biggest cast I've ever had and I think that it was so big that it was very overwhelming. But and we also filmed in three states: okay. Mississippi, Connecticut, and New York. Wow, so, it's big. It's a lot. Now, um, it took you how long to do this? About a year and a half. A year and a yeah, half. Yeah, we had a lot of problems throughout, uh, where we lost locations, where we got new ones, we got better ones. Well, our, we didn't get an ambulance. Last minute, an ambulance came through, which was great because mm -hmm. that was that was a awesome. nice scene. That was awesome. They're yeah. really nice people, yeah. and I'm definitely using them again. <laughs> yeah, I love them. I I love the way, especially the way it began, and I and I there's just so many different elements that was just really wonderful. Yeah, there was a lot of stories, and I I wanted three different stories in the story, right. basically. So it starts off in a shop. Uh, it goes in and out of the shop. This woman telling a story, but everybody in the story is connected to this to this woman too, and this item in the store, so I don't want to give away any secrets. No, 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 no. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Now, what got you into the whole movie, um, the gamut? I mean, you're, from directing to editing to filming the whole... Um, my whole childhood, I did musical theater, and okay. I always wanted to be an actress. But my parents didn't really support it at first, and I went to college, I got two degrees I'm doing nothing with. Uh, really nice, right? Thanks, Mom and Dad. I love them, though, because that's, <laughs> yes. that's a good backup. And, uh... I really wanted to act. I felt like New York City, it was so hard to get in. Where do you go? Right. Who do you talk to? I don't really know anybody. Sure. I'm this nobody. And uh, I started pa on other film sets. I worked on some big sets with Alec Baldwin and Danny Glover. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with behind the scenes so much that I was like, I really want to do this. So I yeah. learned. And uh, here I am now on movie number two. <laughs> and you're going to be like right in his face. Like, and he's going to be like, I don't know. You know, like, get out. You're, you're like, this guy's like in your face. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe so, um, memory will come back tomorrow. Yeah. That's why, let me talk to him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So it just shows that you really are that good friend in the end. Yeah. But, you know, you're like, let me make this right. Work. Which I love. But I love that mm -hmm. in, it somehow feels like it changes this man's face. Oh, I'm sorry, don't worry, you'll get no. here. Oh, no, no, don't trust me. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Um, uh, so in the shoulder, nice and tight, pull it in nice and tight. He's wearing the pens today. It's a personal problem, but we're still working on it. Sarah is amazing. She is so organized. She's so talented. And I would absolutely love to work with her again. I can't believe how young she is. And I can't believe how self-taught she is. And I can't believe she taught herself everything. Yeah, oh, first like thing is going to be a with Dan Romano. Oh, that. these two. Okay, so I'm right. What's yep. she just oh, that's it. That's really great. Sorry. <laughs> Working with Sarah, it's been, uh, it's been pretty great. <laughs> she's relaxed. She makes it easy. It's been good. Last Saturday. She has a director. Oh my god. Oh, pain in the ass. He, he and I were interrogating. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for me when I screw things up. So what you guys are my, what's my next scene after? Um, 37. Okay, so after I'm gonna have to Sarah is a beast. She's a machine. She's passionate. She's young. She knows what she's doing and she's going for it. And part of why I chose this project is because that passion is infectious and you can feel it and it swoops you in.
So, but oh, if you, exciting. Yeah, yeah, if you look at my IMDb, I've actually had my hands in uh, 16 other productions. Wow. So I've been doing a lot, and it's only been three years. So this will be our fourth, coming on to our fourth year now. And uh, this is my second production company that I merged into one. So, right. so now we're silent empty. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, uh, I, I was filming the streets when I met you. That's cool. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, listen. Mm -hmm. We have to keep it that way. That was my fault. No, that was awesome. You, okay. That looks good. You guys, you look really good. Okay, you ready? Yep, the boobies are there. There you go. Right. Your eyes look amazing in the light. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they look beautiful. And uh, call it whenever you're ready. Okay, this is uh, scene three. three. Yep. Shot two, take two. And action. When I look into your eyes, I see him. We did an excellent job bringing up Ian Jang. Nobody knew that he was our son. I was secret. Let's keep it that way. Cut. That was amazing. That was great. You want to do one more for safety? Yeah, let's do looking better, right? Yeah. It was looking okay. good. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry, you know what I want you to do too? But before you have to leave, right? I got to leave right after this one. Right. I'm going to let you set my lens in. Yeah. Right? Okay. No, no. Leave the camera there. And yeah. I'll, set the I'll set the lens in. It's going to be... So I'll, I'll... Set it up because it's going to be a different shot. All right, ready, everyone, places, okay. and this is scene. Whoop. This is scene five. Five, take Shot two. 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 Take two. Four. Action. I just came from Morris Park. What happened? You remember Amy? Yeah. Detective Raul's wife? What about her? She was murdered, strangled, beaten. You think the you think Raul did it? Yes. And you were doing the and you were doing the film. I did, I did. Yes, Eddie, Rocky, Rivera. Yeah, was, he asked me to do the camera work. I was available that day. Usually, I'm not very like I don't have good availability, but right. I said I would love to do it. I brought in some of my filters. We lit that place up. It looked beautiful. But was getting to know you, you know, and, and ca capturing. The way you do things, the way, way you put your heart into it. Oh, I love this. Yeah. yeah, I love this. So I belong behind the camera. I also do stuff in front of the camera. I hope you're excited. You got a great deal on this one. Oh, we are. We're all very excited. And here's our new house we were dragged to. Come take a look inside. Wow. This place is truly just so beautiful. I think it's weird. <gasps> Jake? 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 you. Have you heard of anything weird happening here? I know I sound silly. It's just there's been a lot of weird things going on that I can't explain. It. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you.
promise it'll be slow and painful. But really, everyone goes, what do you want to do? I, I want to be behind it. Okay. So I've learned a lot this year. That last movie was a huge learning curve for me, 58 actors. And I do all the color grading and I do all the music and the sound. And it's just for one person to do all the work of like 18 people. Look at the house, however you're going to look. Give him this thing down. Give him a dirty eye. Okay. And then... Skip down to here, okay? So then we go to... Now we're at scene 40. The shop owner starts. Okay. But nobody had ever heard or seen Will ever again. Ever? Never. So he's still out there? But some people believe he might be, while others believe he might be dead. So... How was traffic? Ah, uh, well, once I get through Memphis, it's fine. All right. And action! <laughs> Would you rescue me from reaching for the Behind the scenes. Oh. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Eating yeah, breakfast. So I'd love to do that. Yeah. 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 What are you doing? This is very beautiful. Do you know your lines? How's it working with Sarah? How is it working with Sarah? Uh, very difficult. She's demanding, uh, a little too demanding, I'll be honest with you. Don't tell her I said that. Um, no, I'm just kidding. She's wonderful to work with. She's a lot of fun, and uh, we've gone to a lot of different uh, interesting places and done some really cool stuff. So it's been fun. It's been nice. It's, it's, it's tremendous, it's tremendous. I was doing stressful. that with Eddie, and I saw all the different elements for a year and a half doing the, the movie aspect, finishing one and... It never, things. the movie is never finished, I right. always say, and it's so stressful just watching it. And there were even some things I saw as a filmmaker tonight where I was like, ooh, and I know when I would never do that now. a place like that where you can catch certain tweaks, but it was yeah. fabulous, it Thank really you. was. Overall, yeah. as long as you understood, yeah. so... Thank goodness. No, it was a so. great storyline. It was great to follow. The the actors, they were believable. They were wonderful. It was a great, it was absolutely wonderful. You know, uh, the best part about some of the actors are some of them are my really good friends. So. Aww. But <laughs> it was great. And we just, every time they messed up, we just did another take and uh, we made it happen. So I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Now, she had an incredible movie and that you've been working on for how long now? It's been about a year and a half. The movie's called Menagerie, and it's uh, based on the eyeball killer from Texas. It's a true story, yeah. so it's good. I dare you. Can I help you? anything like this in all my years on the job. This could be our big break in the case. Both eyeballs have been surgically removed. We got a serial killer on our hands. Yeah. Now you have some actors here. You think we should pull a couple of them in to get their perspective? Yeah, I think we have Frank and Frank, so... Uh, we'll pull them into the, <laughs> this spot that we're in right now. So if you would like, I yeah. will grab two of them. That'd be fun. All right, I'll All right. we're back. Hello. <laughs> we got Sarah, and we have the guys that would play the major part in this film. You ready for this? Frank yes. and Frank. Hey, Frank Basile, Frank, yeah. Basilis. Frank Basile, Frank Basilis, 
They are so good. Everybody's talking about this chemistry you guys have. I, yeah, I heard there's going to be a sequel. I, Everybody told. is asking for a sequel, a uh, spinoff of you guys. I told you it would happen. And it would be <laughs> you did? You mentioned that. You, you are sick. How did you karma. know? Karma. Karma. <laughs> oh, wow. It's going to start at a dance club where I'll be doing showing you my dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> you dance have to see the movie to understand that joke. Mine. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, you have to see the movie. movie yeah. Absolutely. Now, how would they find the movie? Um, well, we're going to put a screener online eventually, but it's not online yet. But they can keep in touch with you to find out when it is happening, yes, correct? Yes, silentenvyproductions.com, facebook.com slash silentenvyproductions, and we even have an Instagram, silentenvyproductions. <laughs> and remember, print it. That's our film shirt. That's one of the lines of the movie. Ah. It says print it, and underneath it says menagerie. That's right. So, guys, tell us what it felt like to do that role. Well, anyhow. First time acting, I, I learned a lot, and I, I, I never realized how hard it was to act. And I learned what back to one means a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, back that's to your one. spot. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It so, was a lot of fun. Um, this is my first lead role, and I uh, kind of worked my way up through the ranks. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for that opportunity. You're the man. So, you deserved so, it. Never forget it. Thank you very much. We had so time. much fun, and you yes, were amazing. It was. It was a great experience. It was a lot of work. Tremendous amount of work. He had the most lines in the entire movie. Wow. Yep. Yeah. But it was fulfilling. It was really nice. Right? After we got done with it, you take a deep breath and you say, We wanted to kill each other a few times, we but yeah. we made it. Yeah, it was great. We did a good job. It was great. It's funny. It's like when you do it and you see yourself, it's like, it's like a high. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just want to do more. They did really well. well. Yeah. They worked yeah. really well together, and I'm so excited about that. Yeah, yeah we got along very well. <laughs> so, how did you pick these guys? Well, they were really good looking. And I'm just kidding. No, they really are. They are. But <laughs> absolutely. Hey. <laughs> well, I've been working with Frank Facilis for a long time now. And you know what? He did, did little smaller roles here and there. He's also helped out on set behind the scenes so much. And it was time. He did a really good job. He auditioned and he got the part. He was amazing. Frank auditioned. Frank Facilis. Sorry, Facilis. And he did answer. so amazing, and they really worked well together. They hit it off at the auditions, and it worked. So we kept Frank and Frank, and I think we can't ever look back. You know, chemistry is everything, huh? It really is. Yeah. If you don't get along, it's not going to no, be good. True. It's not going to be natural. Yeah, it's got to flow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you have some stuff coming up in June, right? Uh, July, we're actually going to start ah. filming the next movie called The One. Hi guys, my name is Sarah Martin, founder of Silent Envy Productions, and today I'm here to bring you guys my next horror thriller, The One. This movie takes you on a journey through one man's heart as he sets off to meet the love of his life for the very first time. And it's an online romance gone wrong. So anyone that ever met somebody online and thought they were real, the real deal, think twice. I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> we found a quiet spot to film this, so you, you can't imagine where we are, but it's all good. But tell us how you picked the name of this movie. Uh, Menagerie is actually um, a collection of usually taxidermy. I'm sure you're familiar with the glass menagerie. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's like a collection of items or old things. but. Back in the day, it was really old stuff like taxidermy and things with fur, uh, odd collections. So, menagerie, because this guy collected eyeballs. So, ew. Ew. So, <laughs> and it, I, oh my god, and it's a true story. It's a true story about Charles Albright, the eyeball killer. But really, this version of the story focuses on the cops a lot more, right. which I really liked seeing their kind of take on it and you know, a lot of humor. So, I'm really proud of you guys. Hi guys, welcome to the set of Menagerie. Silent Envy Productions film. <laughs> Menagerie takes you inside the mind of a real life serial killer. See the film yourself 
If you'd like to find out more about this film, please like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash silentenvyproductions.com or visit our website, www.silentenvyproductions.com. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Wow, so you guys are excited about what shows and movies can get to come? Oh, yeah. 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 So it's got stuff coming from that mine, right? I without, try. Without, without a doubt. This mine? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I try. Well, <laughs> keep it coming. Keep it coming. You got it. <laughs> so this is awesome. You guys were amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm really proud. It was nice working with you. You were a pain in the ass. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well Thank you. Uh, thank well, you very all much. geniuses are. Yes. <laughs> you gotta be, right? You gotta, so, you gotta be. This is Eric McAuliffe, and he's our assistant director, and he takes care of everything that I don't want to take care of, and more, right? Yep. You're the best. He's the man behind everything, and me. So, <laughs> so we're all, we're the only ones, just saying. Well, he was with you with the first one. He's yes. with you with this one. So he's been with you now a couple of years. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Very loyal. Uh, awesome. And, and you can't have him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's wonderful with gathering everybody up, doing all the the, um, the things that can make you crazy. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. We've been through a lot. A lot. And a lot of adventures. And What do you think, Eric? Different locations, have. right? <laughs> a lot of locations. So. Yeah. Fantastic. So what did you like most about it? Have you ever done this before? This is the first? Uh, are we talking this movie or the before this? Uh, assistant director. <laughs> assistant director. <laughs> well, I guess this is uh, the first one I assistant directed on. The last one I PA'd on and then I did the photos. Yep, the he did a lot of the photos, which is amazing. And he really works so hard. So he's a team player. Fantastic. Thank you. So this gentleman, he's an actor and a comedian, right? Yep. This is our guy, Thomas. I'm not a comedian. I'm an actor who likes comedy. <laughs> an actor who likes comedy. Clarify, clarify. And he plays our Uber driver, which is awesome. He did an amazing job. He's a very, very funny guy. Tell us a little about yourself. Um, well, I started as a drummer. I was a drummer for 20-something years. And four years ago, this lady put me in a short film playing a drummer in a, in a, a band that's kind of like... Um, now they're, they're kind of having like normal band stuff going on and so it kind of opens up this whole other you know, you know world for me and it's been great I mean, it's been great ever since so sarah actually worked on my my film called the onion yes she did a lot of the editing yes. she did an amazing job she's super talented so when, when she asked me to be a part of the film i said yes right away i mean thank you very much there's a trust and there's, there's a respect i know that you know whatever she does is going to be good so i said sure so the role was kind of fun. I played an Uber driver. Yeah, you did it. For, everyone laughed. I cranky, thought it was good. Cranky Uber driver. Yeah. Oh, your personality was great. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, so I was happy with it. Yeah. And, um, I'm really proud. <laughs> no, it's really important. It really pulls you in. You can connect with people. So as soon as I saw you, it's like I felt like I knew you. And I, I think everybody in the audience, you have that that look like you've seen you before somewhere. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're related. Are you like? Maybe like some oil wells or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe like a long lost aunt. Maybe so. Yeah, so uh, Sarah's, you know, obviously yeah. she's she's very, I mean, very she's very like, dynamic to be able to handle so Very dynamic, so much. which I love. Thank you. Yeah. She's brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And it's not easy to hold a million hats. No, it's hard. It's a lot of work. Um, you know, we usually on social media show the easy parts and the fun parts and there's a lot that goes into it that people don't realize, and I think that if they knew how hard it is to start, they would run away. The end you know, time it's and time, energy, money, yeah. hours of your life that it's it's grueling. But we have a lot of fun at the end of the day, and it's worth it to us because this is what we love to do. So. And it's exciting when you see it come together. Yeah, I love seeing the project come to life. Yeah, the finished yeah. product is great. When yeah, you see it on screen, it's like wow. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Because you it's remember crazy. before before when it was just a script or just an idea. Yeah, it's just words on paper. It life, it's like, wow. Now it's a picture. It's amazing. So I'm really proud of everybody. Well, one more time on how we can find you. Uh, SilentEnvyProductions.com, Facebook.com slash SilentEnvyProductions, and Instagram, SilentEnvyProductions. And I'm Sarah Martin. Aww. Well, it was amazing meeting you guys. Thank you very much for having us yeah. in this uh, exquisite uh, <laughs> location. Yes, oh yes, boy, yes, thank yes. you. So, uh... Hello? Hey, 
Cheryl. Yeah? Tonight's the big night. Yes. He's coming over. All right. No problem. I've got this. Now that you've got all your ingredients, we're ready to get started. You're going to want to preheat your oven, so go ahead and set your oven to 350 degrees. Okay. There, oven set. Next, you're going to want to take all your ingredients and get your chicken all prepped and ready before we pop these bad boys into our oven. And in case you missed it, here's a run through of those steps again. Hello? Hey, Cheryl. Yeah, everything's going good over here. I'm just about to put dinner in the oven, so let me give you a call back, okay? All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh my god, it's so fucking late. I know what to do. I know what to do. Hey, perfect timing. I just took the food out of the oven. Come on in. Hey guys, hey guys. It's out. It's out. It's your life. Come join Make us. Make it beautiful.